Yo, what's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. So today, you probably got your stimulus deposit. For some, most, for about 60 million people, actually, today they received their stimulus deposits within their checking or whatever account it is they had attached to, you know, their file. So congrats, you got your stimulus. So today, I want to actually give you a few things that you might be able to do with your stimulus. I know it's been such a long wait for so many people because they've been affected, you know, financially with everything that's going on. And so I just want to give you guys just a little bit of, I guess you could say guidance. So once a lump sum of money hits a person's account, normally mentally, all of a sudden they start thinking about what can they buy. Listen, if your shoes don't have holes in them, now's not the time to buy any new shoes. So stay off of Amazon as much as possible unless it's something that you have to get that's really essential for you and your family at this time. Because you want to be able to take that money to you know, take care of your family, be able to get you guys food, whatever, whatever your situation may be, as well as you know, be able to take care of some of your bills. But also you want to make sure that you're able to take some of that money and save it. So don't get spin crazy. You can save your money in a high interest savings. There are some savings that are still um, rocking with good high interest, like around 1.5, 1.7%. Uh, but nevertheless, listen, you just want to be able to save some of your money. So you don't just want to spend it all and then pretty much the money that you just got is gone within a week. Like I said, I understand if you have to pay bills, I understand that of course, but make sure that you're able to take care of things with your family. And if you have problems with your bills, make sure that you reach out and let them know that you're gonna need a little bit more time because right now it's, it's very tense and a lot of people are hurting during this time financially. But yes, don't get spend crazy. And yes, it's possible that they may be doing another stimulus you know, later because you know, we don't know how long this is going to last. There's a lot of uncertainty. And with uncertainty, especially when it comes to like an economy and business, it doesn't really work out too well. So they're already in the works and looking into possibly another stimulus because it's more than likely they're going to need some something else they're going to have to do. But nevertheless, for you, listen, if you get your stimulus check and if you're still able to work or if you're collecting the unemployment, make sure that you are being a good steward over this money and this is not the time to go spend crazy. So let me explain to you why. A lot of times we're so caught up in a moment that a lot of times we can't see outside of that moment. Now within this, it's a lot of opportunity, but there's also a lot of preparation within this. So back in 08, I found myself laid off. I used to work for an engineering firm and I found myself laid off. And pretty much during that time, that's when we had the, the economic downturn, the recession that happened during that time, which was relatively crazy. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people lost their homes. So I understand what it means to lose my job, to have to fight, to scratch, and just to get ahead because we almost lost our home. We had to hustle. We had to work very hard. But that time really was preparation. So for this time, as we're going through these different things, I have an enormous amount of peace. You know, one, because I have an enormous amount of faith in God, as well as I just have a lot of peace because that situation taught me a whole lot. So I'm kind of like a kid in the candy store. Not to overshadow at all, you know, the crazy time that's been happening where people have been losing their lives everywhere. However, during this time, I'm very well prepared, you know, minus the whole pandemic thing. So what I'm saying is this time is definitely preparation because after this, there's going to be other things that we're going to have to deal with. We already see that there is a very high possibility for so many financial issues especially with the businesses and things like this, because this is causing a huge domino effect. So you want to make sure that you are preparing for that time that you may not be aware of. So now it's not the time to spend a whole lot of money. Now's the time to be very disciplined, to work hard, to get better, to learn more financially, and to just you know discipline yourself and create those habits to say, you know what, we're going to eat the food that we got at home today. We're not going to spend on this just because we have it doesn't mean we have to go and buy it. All I'm saying is simply make very smart moves with your money. And that's something that, yes, in general, especially but during this time, because like I said, there's so much uncertainty and you want to make sure that you're able to prepare and take care of things with the concerns you and your family. So get off Amazon right now, get off of eBay, get off the Target website, get off Walmart website, unless you're getting groceries for your family, I understand. But now it's not the time to be going and buying up everything just because you're feeling kind of froggy because you got to check. Anyways, I just wanted to stop in and give you guys that little tidbit to say, hey, before you before you blow your money, think twice. Just, just pause. Just a little caution to the wind, okay? So I want you to just think a little bit beyond just today and I want you to think a little bit further. So all right, you guys be blessed and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay at home if you can. If you're a central worker, definitely praying for you. And we definitely appreciate everything that you're doing during this time. So you guys be blessed. Talk to you soon. Peace.